Good morning everyone, Buddy here from the Denman Homestead and today we're going to be doing some beautification of the chicken coop or chicken, not the chicken coop, the chicken run. We're going to do some beautification of the chicken run and uh, oh, yeah, behind me is Alora's little kiddie pool that I, that my uh, co-worker brought me when I was working at the rental house. I know I said I was going to record something about putting it together and surprising her and I don't know, I, I forgot, there's lots of stuff going on, I, I ended up just putting it together, it actually went together in like five minutes. Um, so she loves it, she actually just got done swimming in it, I might be swimming in it in there a little bit because I'm hot, but let's head out to the chicken coop and uh, I'll show you what we've got going on.
right, check it out. We have fresh split hay or chopped hay, whatever they call it, all over the ground and the chicken run. And that's gonna keep the ground nice and dry for them since we have had so much rain. So this is the flock block, a uh, big old block of food for them that they can munch on. And they're still, you know, they're still using their old, their old food and water. But here is the new water. This is the, um, it's called the Over Easy Chicken Coop Waterer, water tank. And it's got three of these little drinkers and their beaks just press up against this and they can get water out of it. They'll, I'm sure they'll figure it out pretty quickly. But it holds lots of water. One, what did I put in here? I put one and a half cups of apple cider vinegar in there for the chickens to keep that water fresh. Oh look, got some munching on the flock block. I cannot say this word. The flock block already. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's looking great, smelling great in here. All this fresh hay smells like freshly chopped hay. Um, sat it up on some cinder blocks, keep it out of the mud or anything if it does rain. And they, all the chickens can reach those little drinkers pretty easily. But yeah, so here they are, gathering around their old water and food tank like they don't have anything new. but they seem pretty happy. There's our rooster. <laughs> All right, girls. Try out your new water. Hopefully they pick it up pretty quickly. But yeah, so that's it. That's the beautification project in the chicken run. Be interested to see how long it takes them to uh, figure it out, but I'm sure it won't take long. <sighs> so, something I wanted to point out. I'm going to have to turn the camera around here, but I wanted to show you something that I thought was pretty neat with the bees over here. Check out that beehive. This is, you know, the one that's got the new queen in it. Let me get that turned there. So, you can see how there's still some bees crawling around the box, but they're not all over the box. They're actually more concentrated towards the, towards the entrance, which is what they normally are doing. And it makes me wonder, because it's been about four days now since we put the queen in her queen cage inside that hive, if they have now freed her and she's giving them a sense of direction. I think that, that it's a good sign that they're just not aimlessly crawling all over those three boxes like they have been the last few days. It makes me wonder, I'll know for sure when I get in the hive this weekend to inspect it and make sure that that queen is free and doing good and laying eggs and all that stuff that she's supposed to be doing. Um, but I think it's a good sign that they are actually starting to congregate and uh, kind of do their job instead of just being lost makes me feel like they freed her and she's kind of giving them some direction like they, they took to her hopefully that's what I'm hoping uh, but yeah that was kind of cool all right chicken coop beautification project complete I think it looks nice they seem to like it um, thanks for uh, joining me on this one and I'll catch everyone on the next one see y'all later